are we going to do? Now? I don't know. Go and call the nurse. Go and call the nurse now. Quick. Mama. Fan, fan with power. Fan with power. Hey. Mama. 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 Hey. Zazen. Mama. Not to let our meal finish without replacing it with new ones. It is very risky. Don't you know that uh, most dead that people encounter is, is out of carelessness? We were not careless, so is it okay? No, so you know the situation of things, you know. It's the issue of money. The money I make from my menial jobs can hardly feed us in the house and take care of Zoba's education. And those are the important ones now. There is nothing as important as your mommy's health. You know she stands as a shield to you girls. Please don't allow anything to happen to her. Mm -hmm. Nothing will happen to her. <laughs> Nothing. Yes. I want to say thank you. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you for always responding to our cry. It's okay. I'm only doing my job. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. I'm sure she will come and say thank you when she's in Sister, give me the money now. I'm already late for school. So you thought I was joking? I forgot by Apunega. I'm not giving you a dime from this money. Ha! Ha! Sister, that's not good though. You promised to give me the money for my PTA levy today as soon as you, you finish the job you were doing now. This is the money I'm looking at. Eh, I told you. I told you. This money, I'm using it to buy Mama's um, inhaler. Look, I'm going to the clinic. Come see. Become one. Give her the money. Mm -hmm. One never come. Mm -hmm. Yum, yum. Ha. My mom bowed. You didn't hear what the nurse told us yesterday. You didn't hear. She didn't even collect money for, uh, um, for treating you. She said I should add it up and buy inhaler for you. And I don't want to disappoint her. I can't take that risk. Oh. I'm going to the clinic with this money to buy your inhaler. One point. So, what will I now tell our teacher that I already promised I'll bring the PTA levy today? He has been tolerating me every day. Eh? Eh, uh, next week. I'm going to Mazi Obayan's farm today to work this morning and I hope to finish by Tuesday. So where next week Wednesday? Just about one. Mama. Biko, come and go to school. Eh? And try and do as your sister said. You know go? Huh? You're almost late for school. Don't worry, she'll give you a letter. I don't like this kind of thing, no. I don't like it. Ah, huh? We're not the highest poverty stricken people in this village. Excuse me. No, 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 no. What is your own name now? Tell me your name. Uh, me. My name is JP. Gini? JP. JP. No, they can't say. You can't go on JP na Niji Webolo, Jerusalem, pilgrimage. Kebo, JP, Junior Pope. You can't name it. JP no, did Jesus Jesus saves Papa Justice Peace Okay come on never let me find one some No JP What are you excuse me now nah. Excuse me uh, what is your name? Yeah okay I'm a little much I am coming back from school and I am very very tired I am going to my house to eat afternoon food. So please, leave me alone. A mother bitch will walk up an hour from there now. Leave me alone. <coughs> Calm down. If that is the matter, let me just tell you. You know, the way I see you passing like this, passing like this, coming back from school along with these asses. I just love everything about you. Your step, your dress sense, your dress code. Mm. Mm. Eh, man, I 
Telugu do. Before you go on parroting and parroting anyhow. As you're looking at me like this, I need money. I don't just need any kind of money. I need serious cash. Ego bule. Ego the bastardly bulky. You do your hakali a phone oga. Money, you can't send something. Yeah, after me, I go she. That is a smart thing now. My other name is uh, money. Ego mbute. I go mess you up with the money for this time. Eh? Ego de ro. People go this ya. Na bo poto poto no fe. Nefu nefu ta. Ego sha. Ego kuna. Na bo poto poto no fe. My daughters, this life is like a seed. Whatever you put into the mother art today is exactly what you it will give back to you tomorrow. But if you, because of our present condition, sow the wrong seed today, uh, you will definitely reap the same wrong seeds tomorrow. Your father died without an heir. But I strongly believe that if you heed to my advice and instructions to you, girls, then gender will not be a barrier to the height who will attain in future. Look at me, I'm very weak. And I don't think I have a Long time to stay with two girls. Mama, why are you talking like this? Why are you talking as if you're going to die this next minute or again? You're not going anywhere. Eh? This disease is not unto death. God will do something. You will recover from it, Biko. It's no good. I so much would love to be with you, my daughters. Just as you want to be with me. For this adage that says, if wishes we are horses, beggars will ride. You see, it will, I, I'm saying all these things so that it will live with you all through your life. It's not that I'm dying today. Okay? okay. Mama, for 120 years, you will live long. Wow. Zoba, mm, <coughs> Cheese, Zoba. Zoba. Mm. Just look at, I am here telling you what will serve as a lifetime mirror to you. And all you could do mom, is to sleep. <laughs> mom, I was not sleeping no. I was only meditating. You were not sleeping. So what did I say last? Eh? What was my last comment? I heard everything now. Everything you were saying. She said something about me writing. <laughs> I can't see. Hey! Baby chow! <laughs> Chop chicken! Zoba! Mm? Zoba! Mm? Baby, this is your name. Tear uh, my hair. You keep it so cool now. Actually, I found book on the cheese of bam. Man, I did find it. And they say, I have one name on the swag. And I would make fine chick. So, I said, Bob, I'm so bum. Hey! Zobam! Na, Zobam! Zobam! Hey! Um, wait, wait. Um, yep. What about the PTA lab that I told you about? Hey! Baby, is it the 1,500 naira? Yes. Baby, I will give it to you. I will give you. By the time I am done spending money for you on this village, mm. baby, see, this is your color. Okay? <laughs> money, we'll be talking on this. Hey, oh, JP oh. has arrived. Okay, baby, chop a chicken. Chop, chop, chop chicken. Chop your chicken in Tokyo. Let me go on my way. I should not some. True, see, because my mother will soon be worried. Hey. Baby, you barely spent 30 minutes with me right now. I know. She knows what time you comes from school, so... Nana, come and come on Baby, you can actually tell her that something delayed you. 
like a copying of note or extra moralesis. It's all of that. Bad boy. Hey, oh boy. Well, baby, you just got to be my son, uh, <laughs> Jeffy, not okay. the boy. Okay. Now, baby. I'm going to see that one. Baby, can you hear me? Hey, it's my mother class. <laughs> Else will I be coming from if not school? I'm coming from school. And tell me what time it is. Check. Tell me what oh, time it is. Because I'm coming back late. I know, Mama. It's our biology teacher. He asked us to stay back for his tomorrow lessons. Do you know the time your friend, the former, left this place on her way back from school? Yeah? <laughs> Mama, if I'm um, <clears throat> art student, more of a science student, Emma. My science students. Well, she told me that you left the school before everybody, even before her. What? Why will Ifoma tell you that kind of stupid lie? Ah, Paula! Did she see me leaving? I don't like Udria. You don't like her. From a little one, she's over. She's over. Mama? She's over. The choice you made today determines the level of life. We live tomorrow. You don't even know. Hey. I don't understand. Is it that you don't believe what I just told you? Are you suspecting me? Jesus. I will no longer beat you with long canes. But the beating you gave to yourself today will take you through life. You don't even know. Today I blow biology teacher. Next tomorrow you mathematics. And the mundo. This is Looking at my skirt? You were looking at my skirt. Kamsi, you see, your beauty is mesmerizing me. Every time I see you, I lose control of myself. I can't even hold it. Money will. Um, you came to look at my skirt. Why don't you go to your house and let your wife mesmerize you? Eh, Dolphin? Now who told you I cannot marry two wives? Eh? You need a man like me. Honestly. See, all this you're suffering from one farmland to the other all the time. It's not the best for a beautiful girl like you. You need a man who has financial capability, who can support you, a man who can take care of you, like me. Dear former, as long as these my two hands and my two feet are fit, I do not need any assistance from anybody. Me for the Zenke financial. You need to leave me alone. Leave me alone, Dorfoma. Dorfoma, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Hey! I'm not going to be here. Hey! I'm not going to be here. Hey! I'm not going to be
day, ma'am. We did not give you that name just because we found it in the Bible. We gave it to you because you're a special child from God. Why are you not living up to your calling? And what makes you think I'm not living up to my calling, mom? Disobedience is not a part of it, Caleb. I've never been disobedient or called disobedient, and you of all people can attest to that. What did I tell you about the meeting with the Dickens and Presbyterians today? I thought I made it clear to you I cannot be part of that meeting. Who said you cannot be on the, on the governing board of a church your father instituted? Well, my father, my very dear father, was called a priest. That is not my calling. So that was why you had to ignore Ignore your father's lifetime labor. <laughs> Mom, were you there? Yes, I mean, you're right here. You're his wife, which makes you next in line to be in the general overseer. I mean, come on, Mom. Seriously, I have a lot on my mind and on my table, which doesn't include being a priest. Please. Ah. Why has the devil hardened your heart to the work of God? You know, Mom, I've had a hectic day. I should be resting right now, so if you would please excuse me. And seriously, I don't like it. Look, that woman barely lost her husband. And you know how close both of them were. So you should be a very close comfort to her right now. Janet, I'm sorry if I'm causing any problems anywhere, but you see, mom is understanding this whole thing from the wrong end. No, I think you are the one coming from the wrong end here. You think so? That's exactly what it is. Look, Ellen. You can't just fold your hands and watch another man take over your late father's sweat. What he worked for all his life. Listen, bro. That church was all father lived for. Janet, unfortunately, church is different from private business. That's one point you and mom are refusing to understand here. I mean, it's not a business empire a son can inherit from his father. No. This is an assignment with a call, a divine call to clergy. And you think you are not qualified for this call to clergy? Janet, being called a pastor is not my calling. I know what my calling is. Being a pastor is not one of it. Caleb, read your Bible. Read your Bible, Caleb. The spirit of a prophet is under a prophet. Read your Bible. Take these things easy. Please, mom. I believe that with time, he will adjust. He will understand. Why is it taking him forever to understand and take up his spiritual responsibility? Why? Mom, he will. Just relax. I know he will. Holy Ghost filled. Water baptized. Tongue talking. You know, sometimes I feel something is wrong somewhere. Your brother was trained to be in the system. What built this is an um, ugly mindset. I, I can't explain. No, you worry too much. Worrying will only worsen the situation. And it will only make you take up unhealthy fights with him. Listen, Mom. If you take my advice, 
dropped it so easy for now. Yes. I believe with time, he will. He will adjust the suit. He will know. Stop worrying. Please. Anything. She forgot to remind me of the PTA levy. Mm. Can be in here. Mm. Just about has gone to school. And maybe she has paid for her PTA. How? Mm. She's about pay. Where did she where will she get the money from? And um, I have a minute to complain to you about your sister. She's about calls back late from school. And when she does, she will be ready to give one stupid excuse or the other. Uh -uh. I am sure. She has still seen a man out there. I am sure about that. Cheese or Go on your Hey, maybe one day you have to come back early from the farm so that you will witness with your eyes. Before you say one, that your sister that you know will give 10 excuses to cover up why she came back late. No, no. Cheese or Kaya. Depending on where you born, mom. Is that why you came back? Can you do it? She's over. You didn't remind me of your PTA levy. Why? Why? Hey. I forgot. Yes, I forgot. But that is because the teacher has suddenly stopped disturbing my life about it. And now that you have it, you can give it to me tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I forgot. Oh. Yes. I forgot. Okay. Mm -hmm. When did you come back from school today? I told Mama now. Um, one of our classmates was in the, is in the hospital. So all of us from our class. Now went to the hospital to see him. Accident. And yesterday? Yes. Yesterday was not copying. And today was visitation. Yes. Chuzoba, you always have excuse to give. Stupid girl. Nifone Amanya Papia Piago Captain Snan. Chizoba, Chizoba. I Jim Yoke. Answer my questions. Zama to Junine Najugo. Before I unleash hell on you, Zama to Najugo. Before you unleash him, what have I done now? Keep him leg. I've not done anything. Shut up your mouth. Close your mouth. Chioni. Chizoba, why do you want to drag the name of this family to the mud? By jumping from one man's house to the other after school. Are you mad? What wrongs have you done to you? Oh. Okay. Kita can my friend. Mm, I know it now. So two of you have started listening to this smelly, smelly village gossips that we sit down and be talking about this over. Now so bad law. So bad law. Only they would talk at all. No skin pain. After all, they said that um Obi daughter, clear conscience. Fears not. Is fearing not um attack. Bomb. Accusation. I'm not afraid. I'm not even worried about it. Because I'm not a small child again. I'm an adult. Oh! She's over. So because you feel you have attained adulthood, mm -hmm. it gives you the effrontery, the guts, the liver to open your legs for every chief hey. village general up here. If you like, talk for you. If you like, talk for me. I'm very mature. I'm very, very mature. I'm very, very mature. I'm Make sure you shut up your mouth. Come on, close your mouth. I'm going to now. I'm now. I'm going to you now. I'm very mature. I'm not a kid in my job. I'm not a kid in You won't answer me. Eh, choose your back. the matter um, the matter now I'm gonna reduce how we see each other how we spend time yes 
I got much break. He got gone, especially. He didn't come, he didn't come, my friend name. He laughed at him. So he got much break. Come here, laughed at him. And to kickstart it. My dad never, oh, to go to school, oh, my uncle, you know, it's a one of them. I will see you later, oh. Baby, baby, wait. Baby, you know, I, I love to see you every minute of the day. Every minute, because if you just go, I will just close my eyes and die. That's people, me. people in this village are beginning to gossip us. Muna ge exa ya kwezi basher. Mani yama la uche gadilia. Yesterday, nem na wan nem wa ya kubuche gom na kamakage. Oh yeah, I will laugh down to nigga laugh them. And I don't want to have problem between my mother uh, and my sister and myself. One, I laugh down them. Match break. I saw them na yama na kwezi mano wa yo. You know go. Don't hold me again. I'm going. I'm dead. Baby, 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 just wait. Baby, no, baby. Baby, be cool. Be cool. Oh, we JP. Yep. Baby, in a year, no same back. Baby, look at. You know the love I have for you will increase by the day. Baby, don't leave me. If not, I will die. You <laughs> You will just die. Come no one will die. Come no one that you die. Because what I'm telling you, I'm going, oh, yeah, baby, I'm going baby, now. Baby, wait, okay, calm down. Baby, look at, let, let us stop seeing on the school days. Let us be seeing on weekends. And what I go, you know, you know, when we see on weekend days, you don't have problem with your family. You don't lose them, and I don't lose you. And what I go? I'm go, I'm go. This one you have come so early. I, I know you are, you are after something. I know there's no problem. <laughs> are you not calling me a dude? Uh -huh. A dude that cannot run in the afternoon for nothing. <laughs> it's either it's looking for something or something is looking for it. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but in your case, you are after something. Uh, Olua, you are not far from the truth. Mm. See that girl? She is very rigid. The more I try to get her, the more she shows me the stuff she's made of. I told you, I told you it's going to be difficult. You see, my late brother trained his daughters in a godly way. Zaba is a bit flexible. But Kamsi, <laughs> That's another... Oluwa, that is why I'm here. I've decided that since she won't take it this way, I'm going to take it the other way. What other way are you talking about? Take her as a second wife. Hey! 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 Oh, my Biakwa. Hey! That is another hurdle you're setting for yourself. Why do I have a friend like you? <laughs> huh? After all, you are... You are their uncle. She's your niece, and I believe that. Uh, what are going? <laughs> yeah, that is if you play ball, and uh, I play my own ball, and uh, we score the goals together. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, no. <laughs> With you, it will be a lot easier. Eh? Very much easier. Oh uh, well, uh, that is when why? Um, well, if you play your ball, well, and I play my own. We scored the goal. I've had a busy one. Ah, I got talking to you. This one, I'm just going to. Ah. See this small thing. Just hold this one. This is just to tell you, because I've come to tell you about my plans. The next time, I'm going to come real big. Yeah? Just hold this one. Ah, uh, them one. <laughs> anyway, you will not so that you have no problem at all. Unkwadi and her daughters are directly under my control. I will personally convince Unkwadi 
while she will in turn convince her daughter for us. <laughs> oh Noah, I trust you. <laughs> wicked, the heart of man is wicked. Onoma, this one you came visiting me. I need not be told that you need my assistance. Uh, uh, you are my wife. I don't need uh, any permission from anybody to visit you. So you suddenly realize you have a wife. A wife that you do not care how I and my family, my children, are faring. You don't care You don't care anything about us. Or you don't care asthma. That I'm having asthma. Please. Forget about that wife issue and tell me what brought you to my house so that I can at least know where to come in. Um, I came for the good of the family. That's why I came. Yeah? You see, how come she has been suffering to keep the family going? It bothers me. I've been praying and praying and asking God to help out. And God has seen my heart. And uh, he, he helped us by sending us a savior. Savior, Papa? Yes. Savior? I don't understand what you're talking about. If Kansi were married to a strong and capable hand, eh, then all these difficulties you are encountering will be a thing of the past. Hmm. Fama, are you getting a husband for Kansi? Not just a husband, but a man who is willing to help, who understands our plight. If he eventually marries Kamsi, uh, then he will take care of the family as his own. Who is this man now? Who is he? <laughs> well, uh, he's somebody you know very well. What are you talking about? Going around and around? Tell me the name of... Doesn't he have a name? He is from this village, from the Umwishi kindred. From a talk... Well, he is uh, our own retired police officer. Chiapao? Uh-huh. Yes. Omoro Nafa, retired police officer. Ah, uh -huh. in Hey! He's our own foreman. Is there any other foreman that came into the, our village or the or foreman that I know? He's our own foreman. Or foreman? Eh? Mama, so you mean Uncle Onowa came and told you all of these things mm -hmm. in this house? Who would have believed that Onowa would want to give out his niece's hand in marriage to a man who is old enough to be her father, even grandfather? Eh? He's very lucky. Nya, nya Because he would have seen what I would have done to him. I've always known that. I'm going to get interest in the I want interest. And I even asked him when he came. I asked him, what did you come for? I know. I know. Wicked man. Hey. So, Uncle Onowa wants me to bear a second wife to a man whose wife has stopped bearing children. Wicked Hi. man. Hi. Wicked man. A woman went now. Oh no. <laughs> Mama? Mama? Can you want your head like one? Mama? <laughs> your hair like the room, Juan. Eh? I wanted to get rid it. But what we were discussing becomes so important. And I forgot. You know this thing should be near you all the time. Today, I'm going to come out and say, I'm going to come out and say, I'm going to come out. Onowa, how far? How did it go? I told you it is going to be difficult. I know, I huh? know. Hmm? Well, um, I talked to her anyway. She promised she would talk to the daughter. Mm. But uh, she's not very f 
fascinated about the whole thing. So we have to trigger her own zeal so that uh, she may press the right button. Trigger her zeal? How? Uh, you see, it's uh, so, eh? I'm sure she, she doesn't have enough food stuff in the house. Okay? So if you can buy, say, a bag of rice, a half bag of beans, some tubers of yam, and uh, some uroku, and then you present it to her and tell her, hey, this is for your upkeep. She will be the one looking for you to, to ask you, when are you coming back? Hmm? <laughs> Imagine you are doing this when you are not inside here too. What will happen when you are right inside as Ogo? What will then happen? Yeah? <laughs> you understand? <laughs> you are just a genius. <laughs> oh, no. I can't do it. Yeah. Okay. I'll go and buy all those things tomorrow. Yes. Just as you have said. Uh -huh. I'll put them in my car. Yes. Then we'll go together and go and give it to them. No, 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 no. No, we can't go together. You see, if 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 you present if you present it and, and as she sees you, she will think uh, you are just trying to uh, curry favor. Hmm? But if someone else presents it on your behalf, hmm. uh -huh, it will seem as if uh, it means nothing to you. So uh, that will impress her more. <laughs> In fact, you are a confirmed genius. On the way, you will go. Yeah, yeah. Baby, I That's right. Yeah, but tell me, but tell me. keep all these things for him. What's that supposed to mean? You mean I can't afford them? Hey, no, that's not what I mean. Eh? Since I married you, I have never seen this kind of thing before. Go and call the children so that they will help pack the things inside before you stand there talking rubbish. Nani, you mean you have bought all this for us? Hey, Go and call your oh children. Chinasa, Chinasa, bia, bia, bia. Come and pack this thing. Yeah. Come, come, come. Come on, carry this thing inside. Papa! Yes, yes. Fuck them. Oh, this one. Uh, stay! Come, bring, bring that to us separate. That, that is Oboroko. Keep it here. Easy, easy, easy. Uh -huh. Come, come and keep that one here. Uh -huh. That can worry. Uh -huh. The bag of rice and the bag of beans. You people must manage it. Uh -huh. I will not buy any bag of rice or beans again until the end of the year, until Christmas. This is April. You mean that you will be eating those things for the next eight months? I've I've talked, I've yeah. told you. Um then the bag of Oboroko, that one will be in my room. Okay. Nobody must touch it. If you want to use Oboroko, you tell me, I'll bring it out and give you. Eh? I don't want you or your daughter to have access to it at all. Yeah. You know what? Uh, mm -hmm. One of me if you talk rubbish, I'll send you back to Kogi where, 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 where you come from. Huh? Are, are, you, are, are, are you referring to me? Huh? No, Nain. I have heard what you said. You better hear.
Ah, uh, Unkwadi. Don't you know how to greet elders anymore? It's all your face is like this. Yeah? Don't worry, don't worry. Women are always like that. Sit down, sit down. This is my house. And this is also my, 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 my wife. <laughs> I'm also the husband, you know? <laughs> Enuma. Hmm. What kind of visit is this? A, a marriage visit? <laughs> Just as we discussed before. Oh. Eh? We have come for introduction. E kwaka nozo, Oria. Um, it's Kansi you came to marry me. Yes, ah, yes. I'm a <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Welcome. No. Uh, you came to marry Kansi. I'm a Jojo. Yeah, I'm a Jojo. I said, let me go and call Kansi. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Go and call her. Go and call her. What? This one that she's not looking happy. I don't know. She's, she's happy. She's happy. After all the things I bought. She's yeah. happy. Forget about her initial... Uh, mm -hmm. She's happy. Uh, mm. uh, okay. Oh, shout it. Why would I shout? Why would I shout? How can that little girl do that kind of thing to me? You, you spoil everything, oh. Spoil what? Spoil what? Honestly, eh, I'm going to show them that was a soldier, always a soldier. Yeah. How can he pour water on me? A whole entire police officer like oh, me. Okay, we, 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 first of all, let's leave this place. Look, okay. They will buy everything and give you back. They will buy everything and give you back. They are better do that. They are better do that. Bishop Benson, where are you? Where are you? Come and see how strangers are trying to devour what you labored for. Come and see. Mom, mommy. It's okay, Mom. Listen, Mom. Nobody, nobody will ever try it. As long as I, Janet, your daughter is still alive, they won't try it. Hi God, I hope you're still there. I hope you're seeing everything they're doing. No, I hope you're seeing all these things. Everything. Good day, Mom. This is. I'll tell you today was hectic. In fact, you see. Mom. Are you okay? Sister Janet, why is mom crying? Sister Janet, I'm talking to you. Why is mom crying? Okay. If you must know, you are the reason she's crying. Me? Yes. You. Your stubbornness. Your unconcerned attitude. Your inability to think like a man. Yes. No, seriously, if I don't know words properly, I do know you're, that you're beginning to sound like you're insulting me. Insult you? Yes. And if I insult you, what will you do? Well, no, what, no, no. Tell me what will what you do. What I would do is not the subject matter here. The question is, why is mom crying? The, the deacons, the board of trustees of the church, her late husband founded and instituted, gave her a petition note. What? 
ordering her to resign from the post of general overseer. What? Why? Why? Why would they do that? Because they said a woman can never be the general overseer. That is it. Do you get it now? No, it's not possible. It's just not possible. As far as I'm alive, it's not possible. It won't happen. It just won't happen. No way. The only way it's not going to be possible is when you take up the mantle and start from where your father stopped. Look, look, please, 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 Janet, please, don't ever believe or that I will succumb to being a pastor. It's just not happening, okay? Get that straight, please. Then why are you pretending? Why are you acting like you care about mom's happiness when you don't want to give a happy hand to what will remedy her situation? Look, Caleb, her late husband's legacies are stake here. And you, only you, can help. And I'm saying that nothing will happen to Dad's church. No, nothing. Okay? Because Mom remains the general overseer today, tomorrow, until when she stops. That's it. It is obvious you don't want to see me alive. No problem. I will be joining my husband very soon. Then you can let another take what belongs to you. No, Mom. You have not got to do that. Mom. How can you tell me on her? How can you tell me you gave those things to her? Eh? How can you? And that she collected them? Yet, she told her daughter to pour water on me, a whole me. Hey! You mean to tell me that I did not give her those things? Yes, she gave it to them. So I need those items back now. Let's go and collect those items. I spent a fortune on them. Look, this your anger will just spoil everything that we have, we have gotten already. Spoil what? Spoil what? What is it that we have gotten? In our home office, na Akukoso. Look, I told you it's going to be difficult. Time. We will we, we need time. On what? Time or no time, I am no longer interested. I want those things back. I want them back. Ah, fine, collecting. fine, fine. You are no longer interested in Kamsi. Let's go and collect the things back. Let's go and collect. Open the car and let's go. Uh, uh, uh. But why did she... Don't worry, we shall go to her house and collect the things back. You tell her you want your things back, isn't it? Eh? You, are, you are no longer interested. You will give that you. No, let's go. Let's go and collect those things back and give back to you. <laughs> we are friends now. We can have disagreement. Here. Oh, Chupumi. Is that a new way of saying good morning? Again, he come into my house. What is it? Eh? 24. Only God in heaven knows what will I gain from this marriage pursuit of yours? Can you boo? What else am I gaining other than seeing my, my niece getting married? And that's to your relief. To my own relief? Yes. Oh no, but to have a grown-up daughter. Eh? What you can gladly give to your friend or former? What is stopping you from giving her out to, to him? Can you fall? Or former has made his choice. And his choice is your daughter. What choice are you choosing? You people should stop choosing my daughter. What is it? Who need choices in here? She's not the only girl in this village. Eh? And you should be very ashamed of...
I know. I know, my daughter. Take heart. It's terrible. Stop crying, huh? Stop crying. No, 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 no. No, no. Uh, it is God that gives. It is also the same God that takes. No one can question God. Hmm? Hey. I know it's a painful death. Really a painful death. Very painful. Uh, but I have to take heart. Crying will not solve your problem. Crying cannot solve your problem, my daughters. It's still a great more. What has happened has happened. Only when it will go. Please, you know, please take heart. Yeah? You better to comport yourself. Okay. Take care. Try it and it will create more problems. Nobody to fight for us or stand for us. Forget all those things Uncle Onowa has been saying and doing. Uncle Maramarani Rubon Petinaz. He is not for real. He does not have our interest at heart. All we need to do now is to gird ourselves up together and hold on to God because. We are all we've got. Nothing else. Let us not disappoint the memory of our parents by just not winning. Eh? You see all this your pium pium pium. She's your man and I'm begging in God's name. 
It's not going to help us. We need to survive. We need to stand strong. Be cool. Who? This guy. I'm saying. All you said, I've heard it. And to say the truth, since Mama died, I have been talking to myself. Her death has taught me a big lesson. I didn't know she would die and die so quickly too. But I decided to depart from my, my ways and be a better person. Mama may be dead, but I promise to make her happy even in death. The opportunity we have been waiting for has come. Huh? Are you sure? Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> so, what we do? I thought we had lost it completely. No. No, you said you were going to convince Nkwadi. Who will in turn convince her daughter? But now that Nkwadi is dead, how are we going to achieve it? Ah, no, 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 no. Do you know that what you will be thinking of now is marriage? Eh? And leave that, uh, that lonely house with her sister. I'm thinking of uh, going to, into a large family like yours. Eh? What we'll do is to give her some time now. We'll give her some time. We will not talk about those items you bought, nor about marriage. Mm. Eh? Until the burial is over, then I will go into action. <laughs> you know what? I trust you. I trust you, Onoa. Know anyway, just take this. Okay. <laughs> uh, one more secret. Uh, what is it? you will have to play a significant role at the burial. In your mind, calculate how much you want to spend at the burial. Huh? Then you give me all the money so I can be telling her uh, to be thinking of the marriage. Huh? And I will pinpoint to her what and what you spent for the burial. After all, she has a conscience. All those items you bought, she did not even say thank you. Instead, she poured water on you. Huh? If, that, if this man who, who, who spent all these things still came to spend money at the burial, uh -uh. that means that man, uh, he, he means well for you. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> you are nothing but a genius. Akonuche. Now, I'm going to name Akonuche. I'm going to the general of police. Hello! Uh, what? What the we'll see you later. Thank you. Eh? Mm -hmm. Thank you. It is not only wrong, it is highly unacceptable, unimaginable to think or even say that my mother shouldn't be the general overseer of this church that my mother should resign as general overseer of this great church. My question to you is, where were you? When that woman and her husband were converting souls for Christ, where were you? When that woman and her husband were toiling the streets of Lagos, converting souls for Christ, where were you? When that woman and her husband devoted their time their money, prayers, and in faith, building that church where you worship today. Where were you? Do you know what it took them? Do you? No, is it because my late father, who is no more right now, ordained you with certain positions in the church that will make you ask my mother to resign as general overseer? Now my question to all of you again is, 
she should resign for who? Who should she resign for? Oh, oh. They control you. Not as you think. Then what? You see, I am I didn't raise up my hand because I am desperate to collect the position. Then what? I only want to correct her pressure. Which is? Caleb, nobody is disputing all this you're saying here. And nobody wants to take her sweat away from her. But one thing you should know is what we do here is church administration and it's highly spiritual exercise. Teleguided by the Holy Scriptures, it's all like ordinary human endeavor. Even the Bible itself, which serves as our main source of law and ordinance, forbids a woman leading a congregation. She can only speak through her husband, but by herself. If you, mm, Caleb wants to take over from your father, that is simple. We can, uh, nobody will dispute that because it rightfully belongs to you. But telling us to sit down here and don't watch a woman really know about us. It's unacceptable. It's To support the King Joe, let me tell you, Caleb, even your father, he will never be a party to anything that will go contrary to the doctrines of the Bible. We are ready to give you the full support that you deserve if you can come out here now and tell us your interest in these things. Uh, this meeting is adjourned till next time I summon you. Please sir, before the adjournment of this meeting, there's an important agenda that is needed to be addressed. Which is? One of our deaconesses in Imo State died, named Deaconess Nkwa Di Uyema. As the constitution of this great ministry, the presiding bishop, which is general overseer of this ministry, and his deaconess, had to bury her. That's the right as a devoted deaconess in this ministry. And when, when, when is this burial? Seriously, Joshua, I'm confused. I am so confused. I mean, it just looks as if I'm sitting back and, you know, watching my father's livelihood, everything he achieved, you know, that should be in my mantle, just slip away from me. I am really surprised you're saying this, Caleb. Everybody has got his or her life to live. Your father has lived his and he's gone. Are you going to live your father's life? Tell me. Look, your father did not live his own father's life. Otherwise, he would have ended up a village farmer. He followed his dream and made great impact. Who tells you that if you decide to follow your dream that you are not going to make even greater impact? Tell me. I understand your point, but you see, my mother refuses to look at it from that aspect. Does it and... matter? Look, if you try to make your mother understand you and she refuses, then let her be. Look, you have got your life to live. You're not going to hold anybody responsible if you become a failure in life. Are you sure? I'm confused. You need not be. You need not be. Look. Just do the right thing against all odds. Okay? Son, the meeting is in two days. What have you decided? Mom, please let's not go over this again. I've told you I cannot abandon my own dream to pursue another man's dream. Yes, I know I was groomed to be a pastor, but that is not my calling. I've come to realize I just can't be a priest. It's not possible. Get out of my sight. Mom? I said get out of my sight before I do something I might regret. Mom? Don't call me. I can see the devil is using you. You're just a bunch of disappointment. Mom, do you realize this is your son you're talking to? No son of mine would allow himself to be used by the devil. Get out! I said get out.
I am totally disappointed in you. Guys. What do you mean you're totally disappointed in me? I mean, why is everyone misunderstanding me? Why are people not looking at this from my own view? Your view? Yes! You talk about your view, you fold your arms and you watch another take over what your father worked for. And all you can talk about is your view? Listen, listen here, okay? I have my own life to live, you understand? And nobody else, no, you, you understand? No, you have no other life. Except the one father gave you. Really? Yes. And for your information, mom had decided to retrieve from you all father's property in your possession. You are leaving this house, the office, the cars. And you know what? I am totally in support of that. You just, you support. Your reign support. Try me. Now listen, let me state this categorically, okay? That though everything father labored for now belongs to of us. That part which belongs to me remains mine. Including the church? Yes. Including the church from where all this wealth came from. And since you have no interest in the church, you have no part in the property. And since you are not interested in the church, you have to give everything. You are giving everything that Father made. I'll say this again. Not even mom. Nor you can take what belongs to me. Hey, man, stop there. Maybe I should remind you that all that is property document bears his name. And not yours. And mom still has the legal right over all the property. And like you and I know, daddy did not live anywhere before he died. service was something else. <laughs> Brother, the Holy Spirit was fully present. His mighty deeds were manifested to us in an awesome way. Thank you, Jesus. You see, the prayer warriors are doing a very nice job. See, the glory in today's service was as a result of their relentless prayers. See, that is what it ought to be. A lot of prayers were said by the prayer team for this service today. You guys in the prayer team are really doing a great job. The Lord's chanting you. Yes, my dear. See, doing this great work should be the pursuit and goal of every Christian. Have you forgotten what Jesus Christ said? He said, I must do the work of he that sent me by the day. For night comes when no man shall walk again. All Christians, they must put hands on deck. For this great work, I am telling you. Amen. Brother Benson, uh, you can continue with your seats. I want to rush to go and prepare lunch for my uncle. Oh. You know the service today was long. Oh yes, it was a very, very long service today. Yeah, don't worry, I'll just continue with the rest. Let me, let me finish it up, okay? I hope it's okay by you. Ah, no, I'm not angry. Just go and make food for your uncle. I'll be fine. Okay, thank you. All right. See the people that came here to look for you. Look for me. Yes. When? 
You mean you did not see them leave here as we walked in? No, Uncle. I it's did not okay. see anybody. It's okay. It's all good news. Let's just go inside and talk about it. <laughs> Don't go at these people that came to me. Don't worry. Let's just go inside. You see, it's, it's good. It's a good, it's a good um, story. Let's go inside, okay? Okay, okay. Don't talk to worry about it. It's all good news. Sit down, sit down. Sit down, sit down. Sit down. Let this people came to this house today. You know Frank, the son of Johnson, you remember him? Oh, Frank, the medical doctor. Yes, my dear. He came with the father. <laughs> they came to ask for your hand in marriage. What? Yes. How? I mean, why? Why? Juliet, what kind of question is that? Why will a man ask for a girl's hand in marriage? Is it not with intention to make her his wife? Asking me what? Why? Uncle, me, I can't marry Franco. Tell me why. Because we barely know each other. He's not a Christian. I mean, he's not even a born again. Born again, my foot. Born again, my foot. Must every husband be a born again? Each one of my woman. Uncle, every husband must not be born again, but my own husband must be a born again Christian. Juliet! Juliet, come back here! Father, I worship you. I glorify you. Magnify your power in my life today. Let your mercy, mercy of God, mercy of God, mercy of God, overshadow my life. Overshadow my life. Thank you. Mr. Juliet, how are you? I'm fine, Pastor Fais. I knew it must be you who has come there to join me when I was praying. You're right. You see, I was coming to pray and I saw you praying, so I decided to join you. Oh, beautiful. You know, I am very much impressed by your zeal and love for God. Keep it up. Thank you. You see, Brother Benson, the love of Christ is the only thing we Christians have in this race. Reason I always come to this altar to pray, to seek his guidance in life. You see, you are very, very correct, Sister Juliet. You see, the Lord guides his people in decision making. I think the Lord is directing me to this part of my life where I am going to pastor my own church. Really? Yes. Wow. That would be great. You see, do you not be seeing you in that direction in recent time? 
Oh, glory to God. Wow. In that case, why don't we put our hands together and pray and fast towards this direction and seek the face of God more concerning this particular issue? Sure. I want to tell you a story about a man who adopted um, his brother's only daughter after his death with promises to train and treat her just like his own biological daughters. This man's children are all married except this, his brother's only daughter whom is doing everything, working so hard to ensure that she is happily married. But this girl fell to see reasons with the uncle. And this is getting the uncle worried. Juliet, why are you rejecting every suitor that asks for your hand in marriage? Uncle, not like I'm rejecting suitors just like that. I am just waiting for God's will for my life in that aspect. Uncle, I love you and I really do appreciate everything you've done for me. You are like my father and I will always love you. Uncle, you should understand that marriage is not something anyone can dumble into just like that. I am a Christian, a born again Christian for that matter. Uncle, please stop getting worried over nothing, okay? Please. In God's time, my own husband shall appear and you'll be happy with me. Please. <clears throat> Sister Juliet, now that we both have gotten the conviction that this calling is from God, I want us to start making preparations to a seat. That's a good idea. But you know, we, should, uh, we have to start first and foremost, start by you know, looking for a good place, you know, a hall, and then we can start getting new combats. Thank you very much, Sister Juliet. Thank you. You're welcome. I want to say very big thank you for your support. You see, you have come to be a spiritual pillar to me. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Sister Juliet, <clears throat> about the the my proposal to you, you know, you've not uh, said anything to me. Um, I don't know, I don't, I don't know. Yeah? I don't know. I don't know. No. 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 You see, I'm just waiting to hear from God concerning it. Um, so, I believe I'm waiting for God to speak to me in due time and in the right language. to see me. Yes, Uncle. And uh, what is it? <clears throat> well, Uncle, it is about a man that has asked for my hand in marriage. A man? Asked for your hand in marriage? Yes, Uncle. <laughs> interesting. That is interesting. And then, um, who is that man? Do I know him? Yes, Uncle, you do. His name is uh, Benson from our church and I've prayed to God about it and God is leading me to him also. Then what? What did I just hear you say? Asking you to marry him? Ah! That 
wretched boy that does not know what to do with his life, who has resorted to deceiving people in the name that God has asked him to open a church? Please what? Please what? Recently, I have heard that uh, he goes about anywhere he sees empty space or hall, he'll be begging so that he can open a church. Is that the man you want to live with? Is that the one you want to marry? Uncle, you are just overreacting in this matter. I am overreacting? Yes, Uncle. Uncle, listen. What makes a man is not what you see around him, but what resides inside of him. Uncle Benson has the power and the presence of God in him, and God is... Shut up! Shut up! You will not marry him. You will not marry him. So my brothers and my sisters, I want to encourage you to give your life to Christ. I want you to listen. There is nothing you can do or achieve on earth without Christ. The Bible says that Christ says in, in his word, he says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father except by me. Christ is the only person that has traveled to heaven alone. So he says that he is the way. And there is nothing we can ask of him that he cannot give to you or do for you. So if only you can open up your heart and accept him into your life as your Lord and your personal savior. There is this peace and joy that surpasses human understanding that is going to come deep inside of you. And I bet you, you will be happy forever. So you mean, anything you ask of him, he gives you sharp, sharp. My sister, whatsoever you ask of him, he said that he is able to do all things to you. I am telling you, Christ is able to do whatever thing you ask of him. So why don't you rise up and so that we can pray and let me lead you to Christ. So uh, put your hands on your chest and let, let us pray. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I ask you to come into my heart. I ask you to come into my life. Come into my life. Come into my life. Be the author and the finisher of my life. Be the author and the finisher of my life. Forgive me of all my sins. Forgive me of all my sins. So my brothers. There is no life that you can live here without Christ that will be a success. Listen, life without Christ is crisis. The Bible says, even before you were formed in your mother's womb, I knew you. God knows you even before you were formed. Even before you came into this earth, he knows that you are coming to this earth to live. He knows that you're going to be on this earth at this time. He knows that I'm going to be talking to you at this time of the day. He knows everything about you. He knows your well-being, he knows. Look at those who have been doing a lot of bad things in the community, killing people and doing a manner of things, yet God's love is upon them. So what kind of life can you live? What can you achieve on earth without Christ? This man called Jesus loves you and me so much. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you for those ones who have given their lives to you. Father, there shall be no regret in their lives. Their life will continue to be a blessing. Their sins are forgiven. Father, I cover them with the blood of Jesus. Whatever thing they lay their hands on to do, prospers. In the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, my brothers. Feel free to worship with us on Sunday. Thank you, Pastor. You are invited and you will be blessed. I'll be there with you. Oh, no, okay. You will be there by Sunday. You will be blessed as you come. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Pastor. I'm praying, Pastor. Oh, God bless you, Pastor. God bless you, Pastor. Oh, 
Thank you, Jesus. Oh, see, Sister Juliet, I really thank God for the souls He has added to the kingdom to us. I thank God for using us as a vessel through which the Church of God is growing. Oh, that's true. You know what, Sister Juliet? I think we should start praying for those souls that we have brought to the kingdom of God. Just start praying for them now. Yeah, let's pray. Is everything all right? Why have you decided to bring shame and disgrace to your late parents and to this family? Why? Uncle, what is it? Why do you move around this town with that good-for-nothing boy? Tell me, eh? have I not warned you not to have anything to do with that boy? Have I not warned you? Uncle, as you can see, I'm just coming back from evangelism. And I would like to go in and have my bath, then rest. Stop that! I've told you, you will not bring this grace on us by marrying him. You will never marry him. It cannot happen. I've just told you that. Let us have a case study of Genesis. Open to it. Ah, yes, yes. Okay. It says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep, and the Spirit of God hovers over the waters. There's something I want significant in this verse that I want you to understand. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. There is a big difference between the verse 1 and the verse 2 of it. There is an event that took place after God created the heavens and the earth. This is the point where I want us to look at. Okay? Now, before the earth was made formless and empty, there was something that caused it. Before the earth was made formless and shapeless, the Bible made us to understand that when devil, Satan, sinned against God in heaven, when he rebelled against the Bible said that, that when he looked at the throne of God, he envied it and he wanted to be there. Now, God sent him down to the earth. And the Bible made us to understand that he was struck down to the earth. And, and the Bible said, Ezekiel said, and I, and I beheld the devil falling down to the earth like thunder. And when he came down to the earth, him and his angels, there was a chaos on the earth. The Bible says, and the earth trembled. Now, the devil and his angels stayed on this earth for billions of uncountable years. Now, you and I don't. Pastor Benson, that is why I brought up for you to pray for her. It's okay, madam. The Lord will deliver you. Amen. 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 What is her name? Juliet. Juliet? Please come. And you foul spirits living in this body. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to leave this body Amen. right now. 
Paso Catrebusha, Telabarosa Catrebusha, Baharushada, Mika Brahusha, Catabahosa, Hadebuskada. Leave this body and come back no more. Leave this body right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Leave this body right now. Paso Catrebusha, Catabahunda, Shadabusha, Hadeba. Lika Tosa, Catabahusha, Hadebusada. Leave this body right now. Don't come back no more. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command you, leave her in the name of Jesus Christ. And I cover this body in the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You are the pillar that holds my life. Master Jesus. You are the pillar that holds my life, Master Jesus. You are the pillar that holds my life. Father, in the name of Jesus, I worship you because you are the one who was, the one who is, and the one who is yet to come. Who can battle with the Lord? I bless you, O oh Lord. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Father, right now, I begin to thank you for your anointing power upon your son, Benson. For your presence and your miraculous and the wonders you've been using him to perform in the lives of your, of, of your people. My Father, once you have spoken, twice I have heard that all powers belong to you. Every door of financial blessings shut against your son, Benson. Let it be broken. Let it be open. Let it be open. Let it be open. By the power in the blood of Jesus. We overcame them by the power in the blood of the Lamb. And by the words of our testimonies. And we love not our lives unto them. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Who do you say wants to see me? He's here. Brother Benson. Yes. Good afternoon, sir. And what is good about today? What is good about today? Answer me. Uncle. Shh. I do not want a word from you. And you, if you know what is good for you, before I go in and come out, I do not want to see you in this house again. Oh! Please, please now. <sighs> Sister Juliet, do not be angry with your uncle. Have you forgotten what the Bible says? It says that the weapons of our welfare are not carnal. What you've got to do is to continue praying. And I strongly believe that the good Lord will see us through. I have to be on my way now. But don't forget, do not stop praying.
Praise the Lord! Hallelujah. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah. Is Jesus good to you? Yes, Is he good to you? Yes, Come on, put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. It doesn't matter what you have been doing before. It doesn't matter where you are coming from. It doesn't matter what you are about to do. All that matters is that you are now a new yes, creature. Lord. For Christ is our help. Woo. For Christ is our sustainer. Amen. For Christ is the pillar Amen. of our life. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Benson, the move of God in today's service was great. All the time, all the time. You see, you really brought down the presence and the glory of God today with your praise and worship. Thank you very much. You know the Lord dwells in the praises of His people. Yes, He does. Yes, He does. Um, <clears throat> Sister Juliet, are we to go for our usual evangelism today? I've already compared the list and the names of the first timers and the addresses too. Maybe you wish you pay them a visit, you know, to encourage them. Yeah, sure. And in that case, let's go immediately before it's late. I therefore declare Mr. Benson and Mrs. Juliet husband and wife. <laughs> you may now kiss your bride. something do you want to hear it what the church board has finally approved of our getting our own land for our permanent sites oh my god thank you oh, jesus. jesus lord you are so wonderful what a testimony i know you'll be happy oh, thank god for giving me a husband like you i'm glad <laughs> and thank god i found a beautiful understanding and wonderful woman as a wife as you <laughs> you Thank really got sent to me my love you know the first time i set my eyes on you i knew you would have a great destiny and you would be a great man you see this is the beginning of new things in your life I am so happy each time you Thank call you, me Jesus. Like Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> oh, I'm glad. Oh. So, when, when are we starting?
I said the soldier of the cross will be coming to cut the grasses and set the canopy. Mm -hmm. Yes, and even the sisters will be here too to do the decoration. Chizoba, did you hear what they said? Hey, I mean here, Chizoba. Hey, the church is doing practically everything. Mm -hmm. Are you serious? Hey, God bless you people. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, is it true that our general overseer will be coming to this house on that day? Chizoba, general overseer is dead. He's dead? I mean, what did I hear? I heard something like that. Yes. But your mother has a right as a deaconess to be buried by the general overseer. Mm -hmm. But since he's dead, his son and the wife will be dead to represent him. Oh, so I'm going to go. Yes. Oh, with her son. Hi. Come see. Come see one of the son. Is that a whole general overseer's wife? And no one who cares. God, but I'm balanced. But is there a mama no there? Go for long. Go for long. Such an honor to see them. Such as well, my sister. They are doing God's work and it's only God that will reward them. Just take it easy. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. For the Bible says that whatever thing that is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. A look at the dead is a warning to the living. Our sister Nkwadi has finished her race. And every one of us here has a race to finish. Yes, we have our race to finish. For the Bible says that it is appointed unto man once to die and after that comes judgment. And this is why I want to call upon anyone around here who has not given his life to Jesus Christ and made Jesus Christ his or her personal Lord and Savior to please do that. To please do that because it's so important. You see, we have all gathered here because of the departure of a saint. And for the same reason, even the wife of a general overseer and the son are here because of her. You can see how much God honors the soul of his own departed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Here, ma. Are they all her children? Yes, ma. Just two of them. Yes, sir. You look older, are you? Yes, ma. Same. What's your name? My name is Kamsi. Kamsi, oh. your children. What a beautiful name. You see this God your parents worshipped and introduced you to? Hold firmly unto him. If not, your kinsmen will frustrate you. Thank you. Thank you, Ma. God bless you, Ma. Thank you, sir. Both of you should take care of yourselves. Thank you. Forgive me, but are you two in school? Yes, sir. I am in school. I'm in class 5. SS2. SS2. And you? <laughs> are you shy? She's, she's not shy, sir. The, the answer to your question is that she's a school dropout. What? You dropped out of school? Why? Why would you drop out of school? For what? After our father died, my mom had asthma anyway, and she couldn't do much. So I had to drop out of school to assist Zoba in school. And 
Stop by dress. God will reward you. God will repay you in Jesus' name. Take care, man. Thank you, Papa. The best thing for both of you to do now is to get yourselves husbands. Girls are not meant to stay back in their father's house. Hmm? A wise parent always prays that his or her daughter gets married and not stay back. Why am I saying that? Um, you can't see. You have to help out now and get married. Hmm? And be a mother to Jesus. When I see a man, I will marry. Of course, I want to get married. It is not a matter of when you see a husband. When a former has 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 indicated interest in you, you have to uh, you you have to simply. Biko 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 uncle, akakwata blues. Biko 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 kan ya ya wenwo. If it's because of a former case you came to talk, talk about this marriage um, issue, Biko, I think it's time for you to go. Ah, time for me to go? To go where? Your house. It's time for you to go hmm. to your house. Which your house? Our house. Where, where am I? Our house. Hmm. <laughs> you are a fool. Let me tell you, this house now belongs to me. I am the rightful person to say, to tell you whether you and your sister will stay or not. This is my father's house. He built it. And we are his children. That is why I say you are a fool. Were you here when they were building it? You are a fool. Do you now want to stay back and drag property and land with me? Hey! Me. Is, uh, did I say I was dragging anything with you? Well, there are two things involved here. It's either you marry a former or you wait for me in this house. Uncle, you cannot do us anything here. Oh, you think we're alone? You think we're alone? We are not alone, let me tell you. God in heaven has become our father and our mother. Oh, what do you think I'm Can you find me alone? Our mother was just buried, recently buried. You will not allow us to have rest. Wait for you in this house. No, no, no. Go on, Pai What if you get me? With the potato, the sugar in my tea. Yep. If you know what is good for you, this minute you will respect yourself and leave me alone. Do you hear me? Uh uh. My love, I did all you told me to do at the barrier. What is the problem now? The problem now is that I want you to leave me alone. Henceforth, when you see me, make on Imalo Yembu because Moa, Amalo's Moyibu, I do not know you have never met you. You are no longer my boyfriend. I am not your girlfriend. Stay away from my path. Don't be calling me your baby because I will not answer you. In fact, I am no longer your baby. Hey! Nah, that means you want to kill somebody. I'm going to drink a If you like, commit suicide. I don't care. I've told you my mind. I was in Kwangi. 
चले गए Taxi to the office today. My yeah. brother, believe me. Believe me. <laughs> this is taking an entirely different dimension from what it used to be. You see, my mother and my sister are pressing the wrong button. They are pushing a wrong button. Now, when I start my own, trust me, I have started. I just wonder, why would they want to take away your inheritance from you? No, but can you imagine? Can you just imagine that? Anyway, you don't need to bother your head about it. I just think it's just the usual woman thing. No, 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 no. Because my mother told me to my face that she was going to kick me out of the house. I was going to leave my father's house. And if I liked, I could move on and go build my own house. And you took her serious. Look, it's just the normal woman writing. Eh? No. Don't let that bother you. I don't think so. You see, if I don't do something right now, they will step up their game to a wrong gear. Meaning? Meaning the same way I never believed that she was going to take away my car keys. Talking of marriage now. It is too early. No, I don't think so. This is the time I should show her that I care. A time when she should know that she needs a man. A man that will act as a covering over her head. Only why she needs me now. Ah, no, no, no. We will spoil things with too much of rush, rush. Uh, let me tell you. She is beginning to like you. <laughs> yes. So it's better we don't spoil the things now by being too fast. No, but can't I at least go and see her? And for what? If you want to go there, we will go together. Yeah, let's, let's go now. No, 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 no. no. You, are, you are too fast. You are too fast all the time. Huh? When did you? When? I'm sorry, eh? Yeah, but... Onua, I have spent so much money on that girl. At least I need to feel the impact of my spending. No, no, no. When the time comes, you will, huh? Mm. Mm. Well, yeah, mm. Mm. yeah, no, I failed it. Yeah, oh, yeah. So I goes into the bomb. I told you she was going to do it, didn't I? So your mom actually asked you out of your father's house? Yeah, and I told you she was serious, right? Women. Women and their narrow way of thinking. You know, my mother's been through a lot, you know. Maybe I should just give in. Yeah, you heard give me. In. Yeah, maybe I should just give in. Look, it's my mother we're talking about here. She cries every night because of me. I don't want her to get hypertensive. 
I understand. But what happens to our trade? What happens to our journalism? I mean, you're already making waves in the field of journalism. Are you going to back off now? Or are you going to sell out on your talent, your creativity, and your five years in the university? Tell me, is that what you want to do? Do I have a choice? Look, man, you do have a choice. You do. It's just a cross that you need to bear for now. Tomorrow, <laughs> I promise you they'll be proud of you. They will even come round to celebrate you. No, Josh. Maybe I should just, you know, combine journalism and being a pastor. <laughs> <laughs> Caleb, you never ceases to amaze me. Combine what? Journalism and being a pastor? Are you kidding me? It's not possible. You and I know that both professions require much attention, time. Keep quiet as Caleb open the gate. Ah, okay. Now you? I beg, I know if you open the gate. Madame Semek, I know open up for you, I beg. Are you stupid? We you open this gate this minute? Okay. As I the talk, my voice not even there, and my leg not there. As I talk to you now, I go to my room, I know there again, okay? Julius, are you mad? Do you realize who is talking to you? Open this gate, my friend. Julius! Julius! Julius, open this gate! Julius! My own mother was capable of doing such. You did not believe me. But well, you know what? Tomorrow, I'm going to slug it out with those two. There's no way I'm going to let them have what my father left for me. No, there's no way they can take it away from me. It's just not possible. <sighs> Caleb, do you really want my candid advice? Now, what is this candid advice? Good. They will expect you to react. But there's a better approach to this. Which is? Good. Look, this is the time for you to prove to them that you're a man. And that you can survive without your father's fame and money. Yeah? Wait, hold on. What are you trying to sell? Look, this house is large enough for both of us. Truly, you are a genius. This is the time for you to prove it. Work out your ingenuity independent of them. Let them come back looking for you. Look, let your achievement, national, international, exploit, draw them back to you. So that they will understand what you have been trying to tell them, that you have your life to live, not your father's. I've 
answered you, Kwan. Because if you stopped me here, eh, to make me shout, I am not in the mood. Hey, it's not about shouting, eh? I just want to know my stand on this issue. If it's not going to work out, let me know on time. No. Which thing? The marriage. Marriage? Yes. Between who and who? The marriage between you and I. You is what I put to fuck. I got the equenka. You are just a big fool. Yes, that's what you are. One more. Gentlemen, let me tell you something. I will not tolerate that from you. Do you understand? And I'm not begging you if you don't know. I'm not begging you. I just want to take my own pound of flesh. That's all. Pound of gunner. All that money I spent. The money that I gave during the mother's burial. Which burial? Which burial? So, what do you think? All the money your uncle was spending during the burial, you thought it belonged to him? Yeah. No, it was my money. <laughs> yeah, I want you to know while this guy, Eh? My uncle, for your information, did not spend a dime at my mother's burial. My church did every single thing. Everything! Eh? Can work it. All those food stores I bought, bag of rice, beans, all those tubers of yam, stock fish. Oh, unu licha. La chaka. Are you Elena? Ena amu amu. Ema lebe wola arobe. Not me. You think you can sap me unjustly just because I'm interested in your niece? What are you talking about? Oh, I'm talking about all the money you have been collecting from me. Yes, I met Kamchi on the way and she told me everything. She told you everything? Oh, yes, everything. And if you know what is good for you, go inside and arrange all the foodstuffs I bought for Kamsi and her mother. Which foodstuffs? Oh, yes, the foodstuffs I bought for you to give to Kamsi and her mother. And which? First of all, you go and bring the money I gave to you from Quartis Peria. Yes. I'll be writing it down if you don't know. The total amount is 42,000 naira. Go and bring it for me. Are you drunk or something? Hey! Me! Drunk? Oye, police! Or former? Look, you better stop shouting before people will converge here and you expose your foolishness to them. Hey! Oh, me shouting? You think you can play on my intelligence? Huh? You are just a fool or former. You are just a fool. Huh? How can you expect a young girl like that to uh, accept that she took something from you? I know what. It's your little officer, sir. <laughs> it won't work. You think you can deceive me? You have deceived me enough already. You did not give those things to them. You kept it for yourself. And you used it up yourself alone. Yes. Yes, uh -huh. I confirmed it. And you believe that? Oh, yes, I believe it. And that is what it is. Yes. All right. Mugwan. I know what. I know what. I know what. For the things of this world The reward of wickedness is death There is no peace for the wicked The wicked shall know Officers, this is the food. Arrest him! Uh, 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 has it come to this? Oh, yes! I'm going to show you that I'm a retired police officer. Arrest him. Oga, you are under arrest. Take him away! What's that? Stealing my tricks. Oga, arrest him. Move now, I don't want to touch you. Move now. Take him away from this place, my friend. Let's go. Move. Come on, Sophoma. Why are you taking my hand? Young woman, stand up, please. Stand up. Stand out of this. Papa. Why are you taking my hand? Stand up, please. Papa. The next step is to close down the newspaper house. 
That whole office complex was established by my late husband, your father. With the money that came from that same church he does not have interest in. Well, by the time I close down his business, let me see that life he said he has. He must be in Joshua's house now. Janet, truly I do not care where he is right now. Sign for this place. Sign for this place. Sign for this place. Three places. Three places. Yeah, three places. Yeah, yeah. Correct. The next place. Okay. And the third place. Okay. Is it all right? Yeah, okay. Thank you, officer. Right. Move this way. this question oh no what really pushed you into doing a thing like that this kind of a thing what really pushed you into doing it this is not what we should be talking about now okay. i'm thinking of how how to raise the hundred thousand that you you borrowed from the meeting <laughs> uh, you see my advice to you is that you should do everything within your reach to make sure you pay back the money at a great time otherwise you will have him to contend with you know he's a madman Yeah, I'll be the Hanazo. Is it the place you are looking for? Yeah, it's here. Okay. Mm. This is chair is very ugly and down. Okay. Yes.
Ogun, Ogun, you will not believe what I saw with my eyes now. Hey, Ogun, I flew my cloy. I saw Uncle Ono while in our father's land with a strange man. I'm not going to leave me. 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 I'm not going to leave me.
can see your chicken. How are you? Your phones are not fine. Obi had the wrong woman. I'm not happy. What is the matter? I don't know men in this village. Yeah, Why would they leave Uncle Onuwa to treat, treat to, to treat my sister now the way he does? Or again, oh, 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 no, nobody is saying anything. Odiwano man. What has he done? What hasn't he done, Uncle? What hasn't he done? All my father's uh, properties, he has taken possession of all of them. All his farmland, he has harvested the palm kernel, the uh, the colanos, everything. Onuwa is in care for him. Just last week, he sold my father's piece of land. Oh, oh, why? Why, oh, no. hmm? why? Is it not to be? Because um, the orphans, the people, your own young people, now happen. I let him leave us alone. Let him leave my father's properties alone. What have we done to him? Are we not alive? My daughter, you see. Since your mother has joined her husband, everything he ever had, the house, the farmland, the lands, the plantations, every you, everything now belongs to him. Your uncle, or no one. Don't fall. What are you saying? That's the reason nobody is talking. Because that's the gospel. That is why death is a very terrible thing. Very terrible. But that no reason uh, or no why we start mistreating you. You shouldn't mistreat you. If you are somebody with my type of heart, I will allow you to enjoy those things until you are married, at least to be getting something from it. But you know, everybody is not the same. <laughs> oh no, oh no, why, 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 why? You see, man, I'm back, she had shiny in your bag. Rubbish. They think because my sister and I are only but girls that will allow them to, to get us. Forget about it. We will show them with this particular incident that there are girls that are stronger than boys. Why is your face like that? I'm taking this. What happened? Your father said that everything our father owned now belongs to Uncle Noah, including this house and all the landed properties. Hey, I see. I see it. Hey, how simple my hand is. Is that why your face is like this? Eh? The phones they cannot lie to me. It is the tradition. Tradition. You join them to call this tradition. What kind of senseless and stupid tradition is that? How can he say that all our late father left for us and died suddenly now belongs to Uncle Onowa? How? When we, his daughters, are pretty much alive and breathing. No, they can see. Odura, possible. Odura. The, the tradition does not regard women. Sister, this is not tradition. If we let this tradition, this tradition will trample upon us and we should not let it say no to it because I won't take it. It's not tradition. I keep saying it's not tradition. It is nothing but sheer wickedness and inhumanity. Max in tradition. It's unfair. I won't let it happen. You two should not let it happen. No. Except if, of course, they want to take it when we must have gotten married. Yeah, that's fine. But for now, Mba. Sister, when I got married, follow me. 
we cannot do without you. Cannot do without you. Cannot do without you. I cannot do without you. Cannot do without you. Cannot do without you. Oh Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Heavenly Father, we give you all the praise. So bless your name because you are the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. You are the Alpha and the Omega. We thank you because you are our God. We thank you because you are the Father to the fatherless. We thank you because you are the Mother to the fatherless. We thank you because you are our strong tower. We thank you because you have said that your name is a mighty name. That when we come under the shadow of your wings, we find shield. We find protection. Father, be our protector. Be our buckler. Be our anchor in these stormy times, Jesus King of glory. Amen. Father, we ask, oh Lord God, that concerning this present situation, Father, you fight for us. Father, speak on our behalf. Amen. We do not have a father. We do not have our mother here. Be our mother. Be our father. Come Amen. and fight for us. Come Amen. and speak on our behalf, Jesus. Amen. Father, oh Lord God, come and show them that one with you is majority. Father, come and fight for us. Come Amen. and speak for us. Amen. Let your will concerning this situation Amen. be done. Father, let your will concerning this situation Amen. be done. Father, Amen. let your will concerning this Amen. situation be done. We do not have have any other place to go to we do not have any other person to run to but you god father speak oh lord god father step into our situation make our enemies your enemy in the name of jesus father please speak on our behalf and let this situation come to an end Now, now, now. What? I saw Mamu Gochi harvesting our mother's plantain on our father's land. Kita, kita, no one. What did you tell her? I was talking to her. She was busy behaving with her children. She was Oh, this is police. Many figures make them free. Mamu Goti, I am asking you a question. You are harvesting my mother's plantain, and I'm, I need explanation. Can't what are you doing here? I do not owe you an explanation. But we figure, ma'am. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. <clears throat> Mamu Gochi, I want you to know that you are before the elders, and all we need from you is the truth and nothing but the truth. Let me ask you, did you open your mouth to explain to them that their uncle and <coughs> collected money from you and gave you those plantains in return? Did you? I want to know. I know I should have explained to them that you, you would have told them before asking me to go and harvest the plantains. You see? You acted on assumptions, and that is the problem now. Uh, all I'm saying is that if she collected money from Uncle Ono, she should go back to him and collect her money. I will not release them. Come see your Come see your How many times do I have to tell you? Tradition of our people. What tradition? What tradition? Your friends say what tradition? A woman suffered to clear her husband's piece of land. Bought plantain seedlings. Planted them. Nurtured them till they grew and began yielding. Then another woman from nowhere comes to harvest them and you call that tradition. 
That nonsense tradition will come to an end today. That nonsense, nonsense tradition will come to an end today because my sister and I, we do not care for it one bit. Do you hear me? Who gave you the impetus to think that you can change an ancient tradition? Who? Oh my God. Hey, what I know? I'm going to get um, thanks. You and your sister should release those plantains to her. That is my decision. Mamu Gochi, as for the fighting, you cost it. You cost it for not telling them what transpired between you and Mamu. Uh, no. You didn't tell them. So it is your fault. So that settles the matter. Now I know. I've heard all you have said. Thank you very much. Manaka and Kukane Benku. If you look at that, Akaya Yapune. Mona choose a way, Ligida, 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 for two, I kept on my daily and I said, I am Kutak. Oh, one of the companies who put that in Apunyonia. Now my head go get case, where more case, not a web. I put up a web. I can't imagine. You are walking out of us. Huh? You are walking out of us. I'm going to get the Um, thanks. You and your sister should release those plantains to her. That is our decision. Mamu Gochi, as for the fighting, you cost it. You cost it for not telling them what transpired between you and uh, no. no. You didn't tell them. So it is your fault. So that settles the matter. Now I know. I've heard all you have said. Thank you very much. Manaka and Kukwane Benku. If you look at that, Akaya Yapune. Mona choose a way, Ligida, 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 for two, I kept on my daily and I said, I am Kutake. Oh, one of the companies who put the plant in Apunyonia. Now my head go get case, where more case not a web. I put up a web. You are walking out of the You are walking out of us. I'll be my. I don't know what is wrong with children of nowadays. See? How can Kamsi be bold enough to challenge and oppose the decisions of women? It's your fault. You see, we ought to be very careful. Yes. The way we draw the line between traditions and wickedness. Mm. Yes. Is it not too early for uh, uh, Onowa to start selling his late brother's land and farm produce? It's really early. Eh? It's early. Must he sell all those things as if his life is tied to his? Look, this is wickedness. It's too bad of him. Very bad of him. You see, some people hide under the guise of tradition to exclude wickedness. You see? Onowa is wicked. Very soon, the farm season will be over. Yes. Huh? If these girls will look for a farm and they will not find any, how would they survive? Huh? Is it not by this, uh, uh, from this uh, uh, farm produce and land that they should fall back on? Exactly. <laughs> what you're saying is right. You are right. Huh? But all the same, uh, tradition is tradition. We cannot go against the tradition. Ah, it's your fault. I know what you are talking about. I'm not against tradition, okay? But I want you to understand that uh, tradition were made by men yes. and could be corrected by men yes. as well. Yes. More especially those traditions, you know, that are inhuman and uh, devilish. That's mm. what I'm talking about. We are correct. All the same, we are correct. But when they are like, eh? Stupid children. How can somebody finish buying something and stupid girls will just collect it from them? Eh? I know what! I know what! I know what! Mama will go to you. Oh, give me. 
Go in and call your husband to come and give me money. Now! Which money? Go and call your husband! Stop asking me stupid questions. Mamu Goji. Egomu! What happened now? Those useless nieces of yours. Fought me and collected the plantain. I am not buying the game. Nene Egomu. You mean. You mean Kamsi and her sister, they fought you over the plantain? Okay, now do my wasabi. Yeah, me go naka. Give me my money. I give me a goose on my phone. You like the grass. I'm not giving it to you. Oh, my God. Where you go? Come and give me my money. How can I? Yeah, you go. Yeah, you go. Yeah, you go. Go and see who. Eh? Who and the other? Kamsi! Yes, sir. Is it true that you fought with Mama Ukochi? and took away those plantains I sold to her. Were you the one that planted the plantain? Ongo Kulo Are you answering my questions with another? Huh? It is true that the land now belongs to you. But were you the one that planted the plantain? Ongo Kulo Did you plant it? Did you nurture it? Did you see it yield? Mba. Go in there and get me those plantains right now. I said, go in there and get me those plantains. I can now see the reason you refuse to get married. To stay back and drag lands and crops with me, eh? Eh? I will tell you that your case is a camo case. Your case is minor. Your case is open kupu. Hmm. Can't see you. You. <laughs> You! Alright. We will see. I want to make it clear to every one of us present that I am not ready and will never resign as the general overseer of this great ministry. I have the certificate of incorporation. The deeds to all the landed property owned by this ministry, they are all in my possession. And I will not give it to anybody. So, if you are not comfortable with my leadership, the door is open for you. Thank you. We have heard you, man. But mind you that a tree cannot make a forest. Yes. Imagine a church without deacons. And some, some of the members have started clamoring. You better have everything than to lose out completely. When comes uh, a mighty exodus to your tent, O Israel? Even the Bible recognizes the fact that there are remnants after war and captivity. I would rather stay with a few faithfuls than give away what my husband labored for all his life. That is my final decision. was a very big blow on them. Mm -hmm. What did they say? God is just awesome. Oh. Most of them were confused. Mm -hmm. They were confused. Yeah. None of them wants to leave the church. They just want me to resign. Mm -hmm. They thought I was going to consent to their wants in an hurry. None of them thought I would refuse. You see, Mom, I told you the best way to fight challenges is to face it squarely. You're right. Taking the bull by the horn has always been the best approach to fighting problems. I told you to God be the glory. Amen. Come on, I know you're tired. I'm hungry. Don't worry. I prepared something for you, like this. I don't want to tell you. Of 
saying good morning to your sister. There's nothing good about this morning because you're here, so I ask again, what are you doing here? Is someone forgetting something here? The money with which this little firm of yours was established, didn't it come from our father? You know, I'm going to be very cautious right now and tell you to leave my office, else I'll call the security to throw you out. Uh -uh. Don't worry, little brother, it hasn't come to that. Well, mom sent me to you. The fights are over, so she said you cannot come home. Now you go tell your mother that I am very comfortable right now, you understand me? That I'm so, so comfortable, I don't need her husband's property. Yes, really? she broke, yes really, because she broke the family bond the very day she locked me outside her husband's house. You understand? Tell her I'm comfortable, I'm living my life, and I'm happy. Well, unfortunately, this office where you are standing right now dropping those sweet lines of yours also came from my mother's husband. This property belongs to my father. And I was thinking you would also give it out. You know, I'm also thinking that as a married woman, you should show your wisdom, your prowess, and your intellect in your husband's house other than your father's house. Caleb, come home to where you belong. Mom is missing you. Have a nice day. What was his response like? Mom, he's still pretending. But don't worry, he'll come back home. What exactly did he say? He said he's not interested in coming back home. That you broke the family bond holding him to you when you ordered your security man to lock him out of his father's house. Really? But don't worry, Mom. He'll come back to where he belongs. I know. Oh, by the way, I hope you're spending the night with me. Oh, not again. I have to go home to my family and you know my husband is already complaining. So, I don't know why Kamsi and her sister will always want to be quarreling with my father. Eh? See? They are fighting for their rights. Would you? Did you say rights? Which right is that? Hmm? They are fighting for their late parents' land and farm produce. Yes. Would you? You want to tell me that as old as you are, you don't know that women don't inherit lands in Igbo land? Who is talking about inheritance here? Would you? She's very correct. I mean, since Papa Kamsi is dead, according to our own tradition, everything Papa Kamsi had now belongs to Papa Chinasa. So I think she's very, very correct. I know, but please, Uju, eh? let's forget this topic for now. Eh? Lose my hair, I want to go. I will correct you. We are not. Mm -hmm. well, let me mm -hmm. now. Ah, you should be supporting my, supporting my father. Mm -hmm. I am supporting you. Don't mention us all. Her father is simply being wicked here. And she's supporting him. That is very bad of her. Very, very bad. At least she should have waited for the girls to get married first. Eh? Before taking over their late father's lands and palm trees. Yes. Where does he want those girls to be getting money from? After the planting season is over. Where? Meanwhile, his camps is supposed to be working from one farmland to the other. I mean, is she supposed to be doing that? So Papa Chinasa will not allow his own children to weed in other people's farm, but he will want his niece to die in hard labor. Imagine. That's very bad. Please. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
Let me let me let me go inside. Take good care of yourself, eh? Bye bye. Yeah? All right, bye -bye. now. Thank you. Bye -bye. Okay, bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> You loosened your hair? Yes, Papa. Mm. Papa, do you know that people are already gossiping with your name in this village? That you're being wicked to Uzoba and her sister, Kansi. As if you did anything wrong with taking what belongs to you. <laughs> My dear daughter, in this life, the day you start listening to what people say at your back, that day you will start to die. Don't listen to them. The um, go to the backyard and help your mother. Evil, the soul of man is so bad. Destroying one another for the things of this world. The reward of wickedness is That's it. You know what? I'm never ever going to that house. Never going to that house. You understand me? Not now, not tomorrow, not in the nearest future. Never again. Caleb, listen to me. That woman is still your mother, and you are still a member of that family. No, 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 a decision taken in anger is a decision taken in foolery. Yeah, 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 but you remember every man has an atom of foolery in him. Every man has an atom of foolishness in him. I know. Yes. I agree with you. But you still have to listen to me. You, you, you are not listening to me. You are not listening to me. Because if you are listening to me, you will understand what they did and you want them to go back to the house. Kelly, look. I need to let you understand. Kelly, listen to me. No, no, let, let me. Hey, 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 hey. Stop, stop, stop. You understand? That woman will suck me out and she'll never find me because she's lost her son. That's it. Just like that. Just like that. Now, if you have something to offer me, like food, so I can have my dinner right now, or I'll go outside and eat. Thank you. You need to come with me, na 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 na. You need to follow me, oh. What is it that you want to tell me that you didn't change any from before coming to tell me what you want to tell me? Sister, oh yeah, me you come more with me. Get my for me now. What are they, oh? On my way. To... In fact, can't lose you know now. As I just got to the house, I just saw our house decorated with um. In fact, okay, Omo. After Italo on. What are you talking about? You're not making sense. Sister, madu. Get you got out. Plenty Omo. No zobai. What again now? And I seriously suspect Uncle Onoa. It's only that man that can do such a hideous thing. Oh yeah, boy, you know. Don't somebody should go and warn him. Somebody should go and warn him. I'm not coming five million. Nothing. What exactly have we done to him? Nothing. KD4, won't he leave us alone? He should leave us. Huh. Oh no, oh no, why can't you allow these children be? Why can't you allow them be? Oh no, Joe Fonzi, it's because you're the eldest in this village. That's why I'm respecting you. My care can't just go and you always close up. If not, I'll just march down to that house, go see if in a hoko, I'll just pull down everything. Don't say that type of thing. Don't say that type of thing, my daughter. Eh? Don't you ever, don't you ever 
in your lifetime dream of going to remove an omu place on a disputed property by someone. Therefore, you do that unless you want the ghost to strike you down. Strike on your down. No, I choose a man I want them can see. Or do possible. Uncle, I have their father seen a family. Amen. We do not worship man made gods. I don't say happy, happy. We are Christians, we are not pagans. You've known that, so we're not afraid. Strike on you. Can no Chelu, 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 chelu. Don't fonze. It's in my father's house, it's a disputed property. How would this girl go and change from this uniform? Wouldn't she eat some lunch? Offensively, men you tala. So you want to destroy our custom and sister believe because they are Christians? Eh? Oh. Nobody enters that house. As long as that Omu is there. He has to come and remove it before you enter there. By himself? So, if he decides not to remove it, what will become of us? Where are we going to sleep? Um, calm down. Calm down, my daughter. Calm down. Um, just find somewhere you can stay with your sister. I will look for one or two elders to go and speak to him and inquire why he did that. Yes. I know it's possible to remove it immediately. Honorable, please, for the interest of peace, go and remove that. I will never, never, never remove that one. Kamsi and her sister, they have pity more than they can chew. We know. We have decided to look into your matter tomorrow. But meanwhile, go and remove them so that they enter into the house this night. You better start going home. Not even God can make me remove that home. Kamsi will follow me to the palace tomorrow. And before the Igwe and Indi cheer, tell me when the women have started to inherit palm produce and land in this village. So where do you want them to pass the night? Where? I don't care. They can go anywhere. Oh no. You are simply portraying your wickedness in the disguise of tradition. Oh, listen to me. Tradition was made to protect human life and happiness. I need to destroy them. Go and remove that one. What is wrong with you? Don't you have hands? Go and remove it by yourself. I should go and remove it by myself. Yes. I should go and remove it by myself. You have hands. Oh no. Oh no. So he insists you will not remove this thing, my friend. What do you know, man, with him? Come and pass the night in my house, you and your sister. But I don't know. See, uncle, I have had enough of you people's tradition. I've had enough of this useless tradition. Okay, lady. Eh? And, and if he doesn't want to remove it, I'll remove it by myself. They're gonna this girl who live in here. She hasn't had her lunch. And the food I get in the soup I get in the house will soon go sour. He said, Mom, come and stay in your house. This is not my father's house. says that our tradition is useless and meaningless. Mbao, I didn't say so. So? Who told you to remove the omu that your uncle placed at your doorpost? Igwe, why would he do such a thing? Why would he put that thing there? Eh? Where did he expect us to sleep when we had a house? And how was I supposed to warm my new pot of soup? Shut up your mouth! Who are you addressing like that? Leave her! Let her wash her dirty linens outside. We are here talking about a tradition that is as old as humanity. And you are telling us your bottle of soup. go, It is obvious that your parents did not give you adequate home training. And that is why you refused to marry. 
and rather decided to stay back home so that you can drag lands and properties with your uncle. Igwe, what wrong did I do now? What kind of what wrong did I do? What were we supposed to do to sleep outside when we have a house? Which house? Don't you know that the house now belongs to him? Onye? Oh, no. Hmm. You can't say a thing like that now. That, fact, that house was built by my father and he left it for us. Left for you and the who? My me and my sister. Indeed. It is obvious that you have no regard whatsoever for our custom and tradition. Onowa, what Igwe. do you want? Igwe, this girl has no respect for me. Not one single respect. All because she still lives in that house. Eh? She stops the workers from working in my farmland and people from buying my produce. I want her to pack up from that house and live in my house with my wife. So that my eyes will be on them. Mwanka, shineke na ye kwi fojo, mwana chizopa. To come and live with you. Igwe, this cannot happen, no. How dare you? How dare you utter such rubbish in my presence? Even in the presence of the Indiche. How dare you? Quiet you! Neboli, sir! Neboli, sir! Take four guards with you. Follow this man to his house. He will show you another house where this young girl lives with her sister. Throw them out of that house immediately. And let me see her, let, let her show us the secret of her strength. Of us to stay outside. Why don't we just move in with him? God forbid. Who born me? It's not good. Instead of me to move into that man's house, Jebilini Mofiani. Yeah. Wali Gum Jeba Bili Ebili. God forbid. So where would you rather have us live? Mm -hmm. I get business. Oh we'll city I do. If it's the city we'll go to or another village. No father, no mother, no help. Uh, in this case, I guess it's no or do no one. I mean, if and when we get to the city, in whose house are we going to stay? How do we survive? Can you guys sell in the market? Oh, no, yeah, Emma. Go away, my sister. Was there no? Oh, yeah, Emma. She's over. Sister, was there no one? She's over. As long as my two hands and my two legs are working, we will survive. Oh? Okay. So, what do we my sister, I thought the Bible said that God in heaven, that God in heaven is the God of the orphans. I thought the Bible said that God is the defender of the weak. I thought that is what the Bible, I want so cool. Why is God up there and allowing all these things to happen to us? Oh, I want to call it an job. I, I was seeing that many that you cannot look down and have mess. <laughs> Since that was here, no. Jesus. 
God still works in mysterious ways. <coughs> I believe he's still the father to the fatherless. Spokesman of the UN trip to Nigeria added that true and effective journalism is the only agent of change that Africa needs to meet up with the challenges of the new age. Goodness, my own Caleb, my son. Is now a celebrity. He's on network news. Mom, he's no longer news. He's on the first page of all our national dailies. Yes, his new deal with UNO to fight gender discrimination in Africa through effective journalism. You know what? I want to see you first thing in the morning so that we can talk. Okay, okay, okay. I will. Good night, Mom. All right, dear. Good night. Keep trying, he will pick. Okay.
Ramsey, right? Yes. She... Yes, yes, she's of a... Well, why? What happened? What are you doing in Lagos, by the way? long story. Everything. You took everything from her. Sent us out of our father's house. What? Yes. I mean, that is inhumane. That 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 that's being wicked. So where do you live now? Hmm. hmm. Under the bridge, John. Uh, Mr. Bagwanian. Under the bridge. Three months now. For like three months now. Three. Three. How can people be? Well, it's a good thing this uh, happened now, and uh, it's a good thing I met you girls now. Um, you see, um, the UNO has uh, given me a contract uh, to fight gender discrimination in Africa via the power and voice of the press. Hmm. And I think I would start with your case because I feel it's a very special one. Okay. Gender discrimination. Hmm. How are you going to fight them? I'm a journalist. We journalists fight with our cameras, our pens, and voices. Uh, in the meantime, you will not stay under the bridge no more. Well, not to worry, in the meantime, um, I think I have somewhere you will stay uh, pending when I get you proper accommodation. Can't... No more under the bridge. Hey. No more under the bridge. Brother, well, thank you. It's okay. Thank it's you okay. so just, much. God bless you. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Thank you. Hey. Okay. Thank you. The ladies here in front of your screen are victims of gender discrimination in Africa. This house where they stand was built by their late father. Now they've lost their father and mother which makes them orphans. They're being thrown out of their home into the streets because of one ancient tradition here which states that no female child has a right to inheritance. Now I'm going to talk to the elder one 
by name Kamsi to tell us what she has to say. Um, my sister and I were born in this house. We grew up here and after our parents died, we took everything my father owned away from us. His properties, his farms, his land, this land, this house, everything, everything, everything. Not, nothing was left for us to survive on. So uh, we, we live on the streets now. Okay. Um, now you say this house was built by your father? Yes. This is my father's house. Live here? You've lived here all your life? I, I said we're bo both born here. Now, if you get into this home forcefully, what do you think your father's kinsmen will do to you? Is it that you have not been hearing us? Why it's tradition? They will die. I'm just it's 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 I'm a bit scared that we're standing it's here right now. It's because of people that we're having uh, conscience. Yes. Mind. We're having mind. I do really hate. It's very risky. Oh, risky it is. Are you serious? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. So can we do it week here? My uncle took everything. Took everything. This is my father's plantation. He took everything from us. Yeah. He's the one that harvests and sells and takes. Mm. All the money, all the crops. This one is just one of them. Uh, there are more inside inside the village, but we can't go there. There's no time. So why don't we just go to the other plantations? And... Please, please. I don't know if if it was the court that sent them. They came with one boy videoing everywhere. And Kamsi was saying so many things in front of the camera. Is that why you are afraid? Even if it is the court, if they like, let them bring the whole army or the police. We are strongly behind you. Those people come from somewhere. And they also have customs and traditions in those places. Onua, go back to your house. Nothing will happen. I repeat, nothing will happen. We are here. All right, you go. Thank you. Was called out. I'm not speaking it. Why are you being this hard to the woman? And what's your business? Is she your mother? Sorry, it's your call. Yes, um, you see your issue has become very big, very, very big, I tell you. And lots of people are providing support and also not only in comments but in cash. Wow, are you serious? Yes, yes. Now the UNO has agreed to provide you and your sister a house. What? Not only that, not only that, they have agreed to also support your very self and your sister through your formative years 
until you graduate from the university. That's fast. Are you serious? Wow. Now, on my own part, I'll say this. The money that has been given to me by the UNO, you know, it's enough for me to say that um, we are made for life. Yes. I don't remember inviting you here. Sana, I'm really very sorry. Sorry I never understood you. With your name everywhere in the news. And your partnership with the United Nations to eradicate gender discrimination in Africa. I now know that I was wrong. I was very wrong trying to force you out of your calling. Well, you found that out late. Too late. You broke the family bond that existed between you and I. When did you do this? When you asked the gate man to lock me out of my father's house, your husband's house. So you see, right now, I don't need you. This is right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I've heard you. I have a surprise for you real soon. <laughs> I can't wait for the surprise. Mm -hmm. Me too. Well, just be patient. Be patient. Huh? Okay.
to know. You remember her, right? Come see your Tuko, right? Yes, ma. My God. You look great. Thank you, ma. You have changed tremendously. Well, I'd like you to know that you just have your future daughter in law. Come here. Wow. Come here. <laughs> That's lovely. Thank you. Oh. You're welcome. Welcome to our home. Thank you. Uh, Where do we go in? Eh? After you. No, after us. No, after you. Okay, all right. Wow. Yeah. My brother. Have they sent for the gifts? Yes. According to my daughter, she spoke with her mom before. And she promised coming to see him today. But what on earth is this kind of secret? God. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Maybe I don't know what this is. Is she the one coming? Huh? Yes. She's the one. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yes. I hear that she drives a big jeep now. And she lives in a duplex with her sisters. Yes, that's her. ago he came back from work complaining about his stomach before you knew anything his stomach started shooting out like he's been popped by a vulcanizer jesus that's it bro. that's it see your uncle jesus yes he has been calling your name since that was why we sent for you to come uncle uncle mm. It is me, Kamsi Yotu. Oh, Kamsi, my daughter. Where is uh, Chizoba? She's not here, she's writing exams. Oh, Kamsi, my daughter. Oh, I killed your father and your mother. Oh, <laughs> oh no, what have you done? Oh, God. Yes, uh, my brother Onwa. <clears throat> I actually invited you here to inform you that I want to start building a house on that piece of land. Ah, I see. Um, but that's the only last piece of land our father left for us. Why, uh, why don't you build on the other two? The other two plots. Hey, Onwa. Why must you suggest such a thing? How do you think that I, your elder brother, will build on the land very close to the river? Or the one at the market square? Yeah? Uh, but you also know that uh, I too need a plot of land to build. Yes, I know it too well. I know you will definitely build. Huh? But when you are ready, you can build on either of the two. Eh? I need that large parcel of land. I want to build a family house there. And besides, you know very well that my, my new wife is heavily pregnant. I think it's about time I started building for my sons. Yes. Yes. All right. All right. Ume, so Ume, my brother, is bent on disinheriting me of her father's plots of land. Simply because he's now married, he wants to start preparing an inheritance for his unborn sons. Not minding how I feel or my opinion. Ume, 
こうねアクリカ、my brother Omi has pushed me to the wall, and I must fight back. What exactly do you want me to do? His new wife is pregnant, and she must lose the pregnancy. Let me see how my brother Omi will have a son that he's building for. Ah. Iya de lioba. Go chala chala de chwe chwe. O soja de jog even like. Mama ya makwa mbusi zo eni mko ya boya dako dana. My mind is made up, and there is no going back. What is it that I'm hearing? I don't want any more. My chief house. Dad would be on such a very unjust manner. Hey, hey, what is happening to us? Eh? How can a woman lose a pregnancy that is as big as that? How? Hmm. Eh? I wish I have an answer to that. Hey! Hey! Oh. For me, my brother. Take heart, yeah? Take heart. We got know why it happened. Mm -hmm. Definitely they, they will bring one back that will that is meant to stay. Huh? Mm -hmm. Take heart. Ndo. Ndo. Dibe. Diko. Africa, I greet you. Uh, Monua, you are not looking bright this today. What is your problem? What do you imagine? He has gotten his wife pregnant again. Just a few months after she lost her first pregnancy. Can you imagine that? How does that supposed to be your problem? Is she not his wife? Or do you want to be the one to impregnate her? Huh? Agrika, why are you talking like that? Huh? Have you forgotten our plan? I should be the one asking you. What we did is permanent. And as long as she remains his wife, she will never give back to a male child. Never! The heart of man is weak. <laughs> Africa the Great. I honestly do that. I trust you. Destroying one another. The things of this world. The reward of wickedness is death. There is no peace for the wicked. The wicked shall know no joy. Oh no one. You are here? Yes, brother. <laughs> you know, I was just uh, passing. I saw somebody inside, so I thought I should see, I should see who it is. Uh, you know what happens in our community. Yeah. Well, it's all right. Uh, uh, you are right, my brother. It's me. I'm just trying to survive the entire life. You know, my wife is already pregnant. Again. Hey, hey, hey. Uncle, you are very sharp. Oh. You are very sharp, you are very sharp, so she, she's pregnant again. Yes, and uh, <laughs> I must have to start building now. Building for my future sons. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Brother, so you are so sure as a boy. <laughs> oh. I 
on your feet. As if you don't know like me. Your feet. <laughs> I did that work. So I know where I channeled it. <laughs> I know what it's gonna be. Uh, right, I left. Wait for a I don't know what I did for you. Last time I was just looking at you when you were talking to my face. <laughs> you will surely reap the fruits there is. No peace for the weekend. Ume, my brother, you will get the greatest disappointment in your life. Whatever your wife is carrying in her belly will never be a son. No peace for the wicked. The wicked shall know no joy. Calm down, calm down. The baby will soon come. Take it easy, eh? Yeah? Cool, cool down, cool down. The baby will soon come, huh? Wait to see my son. It will soon come. Don't worry. Don't worry, huh? Eh? Oh no. Are you hearing something? I told Listen, you. Listen, I hear something. I told you. <laughs> come that is, that is the cry of my son! Congratulations! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, thank you. How's my son? Can I make congratulations? <laughs> Your wife has been delivered of a bouncing baby girl. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's also a child, huh? Africa, you should have seen how devastated he was when the disappointment hit him. <laughs> he always wept like a baby. <laughs> that is the handwork of Agrika the Great. I told you, didn't I? Yes, Agrika the Great. <laughs> I knew I will always rely on you and your powers. Uh, that is why I brought you this as a token to the gods. Uh, 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 that is very good of you. The gods will always support you. Yeah. And I I am strongly behind you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Africa the Great. Oh no! Uh, Africa hey. the Great. That is very good. Thank you very much. Wicked, the heart of man is wicked. You are advanced as I advance it. You got the boundary never go for Drop that thing over there. What, what is going on here? Oh no! Why are you in shock? Is anything the matter? Uh, uh, oh, oh no, 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 no. Um, I, I, I just didn't know that you have started work on your site. <laughs> I thought you wanted to wait till you have a son. Whether a son or a daughter. I just decided to go ahead and build for my children. Whether son or daughter. Hmm? Uh, oh brother, <laughs> I, I, it's good that you have realized that. Hmm? Well, um, I don't want to stop your work. Every seed you sow, you will surely reap the fruits there is. No peace for the weekend. No peace for the weekend. The weekend shall know no joy. Everything you do will surely I have a feeling I have not had enough on Umi. He's still comfortable. That explains why he's still interested in building a house for his family. Onowa, you are crying over mere spilled milk. If your brother Umi has decided to build a house, which you will eventually inherit, how is this supposed to be a problem? Akrika, you have a point there. Hi. Yes, you are right. <laughs> Akrika is always right. Yes, you are right, you are right. Onowa! Onowa! Onowa!
Onuwa! 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 Uh, uh, uh. Come on. Brother Obi, why are you shouting my name like this? I hope there's no problem. That is no problem. Onuwa, you have visited all the palm fruits in that land and sold them. Well, you know very well that my wife uses them for palm oil production. Why? <laughs> I, I, is that why you are shouting my name like that? I, 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 I harvested the, the palm fruits from my own father's land. Don't even go there. Oh no, don't even misunderstand me. I only emphasize the fact that you know very well that my wife uses these palm fruits to produce oil. You know it. I went ahead and sold all of them. Is it good? Huh? Look, if your wife needs palm fruits for making oil, she should go to the market and buy some. Huh? Hey! Are you the one talking to me like this? I can't believe I'm there with this. You better believe it. You better believe it. I harvested palm fruits from my own father's land, so you better believe it. If not, you have more to come. Oh no. Is this what you have to say? Yes. Nonsense. Oh no. What has come over you? Eh? What has happened to you, Oh no? Why did you stop my wife and children from harvesting in this land? Because I she planted herself. Why should I not? Huh? Tell me a reason why I should not. Huh? Brother Ome, were you not the one who divided the land? And you took the greater part? Oh, wait. Did I hear you say that I divided this land? Yes. I did not. You did. I did not. I simply kept aside those two lands and I said, when you are ready to build, you can build in any of them. I'm now ready. I am now ready. So you warn your wife and your children never to step foot on this land again. You hear me? Onua, let me ask you. Are you sure you are my brother? Do you think you are still my brother? I'm sorry, already. What is the meaning of what? You are when you tied around the farmland where my wife planted cassava. I thought we had discussed this and closed that topic. Those plots of land belong to me. You gave them to me. So I'm protecting what belongs to me. Huh? Good day. Wicked, the heart of man is wicked. Evil, the soul of man is so bad. Destroying one another for the things of Are you sitting here all alone? Is anything the matter? Uh, my brother, I don't know. It's <clears throat> giving me much concern. Honestly. And you allow that to bother you? No. You allow Unua's change of behavior recently to cause you much concern? No. No, you're not being fair to yourself. Just think about your condition. Please. What else can I do? Tell me. He is my brother. My only brother for that matter. Huh? His recent change of attitude is giving me a lot of concern. Huh? Anyway, I think he's under a kind of a spell. Yes, he's under a kind of spell. Abba, <sighs> no. I do not believe that. Why would you think of a thing like that? This is not my brother, my younger brother, I don't know what I know. He must be under a kind of spell, and I'm, I must find out. No. Yes, I must find out. I'm afraid what you said. Hmm? Let's just go inside. The food is ready. Please, just take it easy on yourself. Hmm? No, please. Akrika, 
I have made up my mind. My brother me must die. I can no longer tolerate his recklessness. Mm. Okay. Ore. Avo. Yabe yoba. Yambe ada ba isu kana. Hm. Onuwa. Africa is here and we always be here for you. Whatsoever you want, I will do it for you. Hm. I shall drink with you, but I shall not die with you. You shall drink with me, but you shall not live with me. Praise the Lord. 
In God's kingdom, there is no man or woman. There is no gender discrimination in the kingdom of God. The Bible says, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So children of God, Christ has come because his kingdom has come. It doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. If the Holy Ghost dwells in you, you can do wonders. You can heal the sick, cast out demons, and even raise the dead as long as you have the anointing. It does not matter if you are a man or a woman. Praise the Lord. 